Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at Affinity Photo 2's Luminosity Range Mask. We're going to start off, we've just got a simple pixel layer going from black on one side to white on the other. And when we click down here on the mask layer, we can go to Luminosity Range Mask there, and it brings up the mask here. You can also put it in through layer, new live mask layer and luminosity range there. So what this represents here with this graph is very much like curves, goes from the darks here to the light to this here, so it's luminosity backwards and forwards this way, and up and down is opacity, so at the top it is effectively opaque and at the bottom it's transparent. So if I pull this down here, you can see the checkerboard underneath here. For this, make sure by the way, document transparent background is on if you're going to do this, and you can then see through to whatever is below. And you can then play around with this and move this up and down here. Notice here, if I go up and this bumps into here, so I've got a straight line here, I get this unwanted effect here. This is a the initial version of version 2. I've submitted this as a bug, so hopefully it will get fixed. A way of getting around it is to go to linear and then it will never happen even if you get to the top there. You can just put in some extra points in here and approximate the curve so you're selecting this area. You can invert the output here, so I turn that round you get the opposite amount so you can select one way and then turn it upside down. And you can also preview it. So if I click on this as a preview, what I'm seeing now is the mask. So this is black is not selected, white is selected, and grey is partially selected. So if I move this here, you can set a lot here is going black because it's all the bit in here is the same as all the bit in there. Let's try this on a real picture. So now let's take this picture here. And I want to say make this area inside here a little bit lighter to see a bit more detail. So I want to select that. So I'll go to the mask layer here and put on a luminosity range mask. And now then I want to select the black, so I'll keep this one black here and bring this down here. And this is going across the end. You can see this is can be becoming more transparent, or I can put on the preview and I can see this through here. Uh, by the way, a tip if you've got this background here as a whole stack of layers, you can always drag the luminosity range mask to the top and then it will affect everything. So I bring this down here so it's selecting that area under here. Don't worry about these areas elsewhere because we'll fix that in a minute. And I can drag this up here. If I'm hitting the top there, I'm getting a bit of an effect there, so I could always go to linear. So let me like that and maybe bring it up like that. So I've got all those selected and just play adding extra points if necessary. Just try to isolate that area. So now I'm going to affect this. So right, I've got the mask now. So I just close that for the moment. And I say I'm going to put on something very simple like adjustments here and go to the brightness and contrast. So I want to get these in the right place. So I drag the brightness and contrast onto the image here, the, the thumbnail of the background. And because it's the, uh, the luminosity range mask, I'm going to drag onto the brightness and contrast. So now if I just open that up with that little greater than there, you can see there's a gray line here to show this is indented and another gray line here to show this is indented again. So the luminosity range mask is now belongs to the brightness and the brightness then belongs to the background. So now what we're doing here when we change the brightness and contrast is only in the selected areas. So if I turn this up to get a bit more brightness here, but I don't want the effects elsewhere. So what I could do is I could add an extra mask here, just a standard mask and paint on that. But an extra trick with this is if I go to the luminosity range mask, because this is in itself a live layer, it's got a built-in mask itself. So when I can go now to the paintbrush and go to black, and if I paint on here, you see the preview shows that I'm going to remove the effect on that. So I can paint over around here, these areas up here that are not wanted, and I can even 
if I want, I can go back to the luminosity mask there, preview that, and check I painted those areas correctly. So because I've got this selected, I can even paint here just to get rid of those there. So just that lighter area is appearing right. So I just click on the background again to see it. And there, now I've got that effect. So I can take the brightness contrast off there and on. I just lightened up that interior area a bit. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.